In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm going to be tasting this honey which was produced by a European paper wasp. How rare is this and what does it taste like? Let's find out. So first off, let me tell you how I found this and the story about it. So about a month or two ago when it just was starting to cool down in the fall, I was in my shed and I found a wasp's nest in there and I started looking at the nest itself and it was actually reflecting back at me and I thought that looks really odd. So I went and I looked at it closer and I saw that there was this substance inside of there that looks just like honey. So that kind of surprised me. The interesting thing is there was only one wasp that was sitting there on the nest and I actually captured that wasp. It's right here. I left it in the fridge for like a month so I think it's dead. And what I believe this is, is a European paper wasp. The species name is Polistes dominula. So after I found this, I needed some answers because I have seen probably thousands of paper wasp nests in my life. I'm always looking at them. My son is terrified of them. So I'm always trying to find them and get rid of them. But this one is different. So I reached out to researchers and I wasn't getting a lot of answers. I The one researcher I talked with said they were unaware that this species actually does produce honey. Now one of you may be one of those researchers that knows that they do, but I haven't been able to find any information in literature saying that this species does produce honey. There are related species that do produce honey. I think um, there's some in Mexico, but for this species itself, it's not been really well documented. So this is something really rare and quite a treat for us. And this is, like I've told you guys before, one of the most exciting things about insects is that they're so understudied. This could be something new that nobody's documented before. I mean, how would somebody not have found this or seen this? I don't know, maybe people weren't looking. Maybe this is actually quite common, but this species is just not super well studied. So we haven't heard about this happening before. I started reading articles about wasps storing this honey in the winter in order to keep alive one of them. They can overwinter and feed on that during the winter and then they can start up a new colony eventually once the spring hits. So that's what I believe happened here is that this single female um, with help of other wasps had built this nest and had stored a whole bunch of honey in there so that she could survive through the winter and then start up again the next year and reproduce and start a new colony. And before I get into actually tasting it, I just wanna say a few things about wasps. Yes, they annoy me, and I do believe they are a pest in some circumstances, but wasps are not all bad. First off, I know they're very aggressive, as you've probably seen in my mantispid video, but that aggression can be used against caterpillars and other bugs that are going to feed on your garden. So I don't want you to think that wasps are evil, and seeing that they produce honey, I think maybe could help folks understand that wasps actually play beneficial roles for us, you know? This proves that they are out collecting pollen and other things, they are pollinating things. They're helping and they're also out hunting other insects to feed to their babies. Before I do the taste test, I brought along some uh, honey here to kind of compare and see what they taste like one versus the other. See if there's kind of a big difference or if they taste the same to me. There we go, got some chunks of that comb there of the honeycomb. This is just from honeybees obviously. And I'm gonna taste this kind of with the comb. So, hmm. Very sweet. And I think it's got some wax, like that beeswax. I think the paper wasp one is just gonna be all not quite as waxy. All right. I think I'm gonna kind of dissect it a little bit. So let's get it right in here. I think we'll cut it in half. That way I can save half of it and then I'll have half of it um, for eating. And here we've got some of this stuff. It's gonna be a little chewy. Just gonna peel off this paper a little bit here. I honestly don't even know guys if this really is honey or if this is like something else. It definitely looks very sugary. I'm pulling on it. You can see it's really stretching out just like a sugar would. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna taste this little bite. We'll see what it tastes like. Hmm. Definitely has a different taste. It actually tastes really similar to the to the bee honey. 
but that paper probably is tainting it a little bit. It almost has a slight almond taste to it. It's not a lot of honey. It's really just a little bit here. There's not a lot in here. Oh, that fly wants some honey. He's like, hey, you got honey? I'm like, dude, no, this is mine. There's some more of it. You can see it is sugary, that's for sure. Definitely got a lot of sugar in there. I honestly am surprised. It really does taste like almond. It's got just this slight amount of taste of almond, just like almond and sugar. Let me taste the bee honey again and see if I can tell the difference. The bee honey it tastes a little more aromatic to me, whereas this just has like this little nutty flavor to it, which is really interesting in my opinion. It's almost like toffee. There you can see it right there, all this sugar. It's kind of hard, that's kind of my fault just because I stuck it in the fridge just to keep it away from my son or someone smashing it. So, but there it is right there. So that was really interesting, you guys. It really does have this nutty taste to it. It's very sweet, just like a normal honey. Um, it doesn't smell any different or have much of a different consistency. I think it's just kind of hard right now because I kept it in the fridge for so many days. But it really was interesting to learn that and see that. This is why I absolutely love studying and learning about insects with you guys is because there's all these new things we can discover and learn together. So it makes me excited to have you guys along with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe so you can stay tuned next time where big adventures start small. Thanks for watching.